Okay, so now we're on to variegated wash. A variegated wash is a wash with more than one color, and it's usually kept pretty even, so it's not as chaotic as wet and wet. It looks more sort of even, but it's more than one color. Could you have a variegated wash that's a gradation? Sure, we'll talk about gradation soon. Um, while you are doing your washes, I would like you to do the same a wash or some several techniques in the dry brush area. So I've see I can I did a little thing here. Just some I did some wash, a basic wash, and then I did some wet and wet on top of it. And I'm gonna let that dry. We're gonna come back to that later. Okay. I may have gotten a little too colorful there, but it's okay. So for variegated wash once more, um, you can do this any way you do a wash, except you're going to use more than one color. So if I want to, I can add some water first. I'll do that in maybe a quarter of the box area. And I might add a little color to it. Let's say sort of a violet color here. Damn it. That bled. Be careful. It's okay, so this is just practice, but if we were to be painting something, we wouldn't want that to happen. I should have let that dry. To prevent further mistakes, I'm going to suck up this bead here. That will prevent it from running. That's okay. Fix this here. Okay, so that was just a basic wash. No pulling down the bead, nothing of that sort. I can pull down the bead. So let's say I want to use more of a orange color in this section here. Kind of marry these two a little bit, just work it out. Now maybe I'll just use pure yellow. So you can see I'm making a wash of more than one color. All right. So do this a couple different times on one half of the variegated area and another half of the variegated area. Here I might start this side. All right, do the same up here. Try different colors. Now, you'll notice too, and it's happened in a few places, you can see the paper is buckling where it's created this valley here where the water's collecting and it's running into it. This happens because the, of the amount of water I'm using, the paper is soaking up a lot of water quickly so it will expand. The paper fibers are expanding. Where there are dry areas around it, it has stayed contracted. So if it is not getting, the paper surface is not getting water evenly, it will have these areas where there's expansion and areas where it has stayed contracted and this will cause it to warp. One way to prevent this from happening is to evenly dampen the whole paper before you begin watercolor. And then when we get to our watercolor paintings, I'll show you how to tape it down. So at the end, to dampen the paper first, and then to tape it down, let it dry slightly before we begin painting, and this will prevent some buckling. But for the purposes of this exercise, this is fine. It, it may pool and puddle on you. The best course of action is to leave it alone. Um, try not to lift it up so it doesn't run everywhere. All right, so finish your variegated here. A variegated wash, again, is a wash fairly even with more than one color. What's the difference between that and wet and wet? I guess technically there isn't one. But the variegated wash reads more evenly than, a, say, a wet and wet.